There's a perfect symmetry to NATO foreign ministers meeting here in Washington DC 70 years to the day that they coalesced around a perceived Russian threat at the advent of the Cold War, the formation of NATO. And it's Russia that's once again dominated discussions here at the US State Department. That's after Moscow suspended its participation in a Cold War era treaty that eliminated medium range cruise missiles with the United States. Russia unhappy about complaints that it's violated the treaty and the Trump administration saying it's prepared to begin testing these missiles this summer. So tensions are high and the NATO Secretary General outlined his concerns. By fielding multiple battalions of SSC-8 missiles, Russia has made the world a more dangerous place. The United States and other allies have tried to engage with Russia about this missile system for several years. We all agree that Russia uh, continues to be in violation of the treaty. Jens Stoltenberg says a strong and united NATO can negotiate with Russia. But here's where the divisions start to emerge. The US wants closer relations with Moscow, maybe too close for NATO right now. And that's an issue for the Trump administration and this military alliance. And the divisions really started to open up when US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo addressed the meeting. We must adapt our alliance to confront emerging threats too, whether that's Russian aggression, uncontrolled migration, cyber attacks, threats to energy security. And now is not the time to repeat tired excuses that our citizens don't support increased defense spending or security spending. But Russia continues to loom large over this meeting with another NATO member, geopolitically important to the United States, also under pressure to abandon an anti-missile shield it's buying from Russia. And yet the Turkish government says it has absolutely no intention of abandoning this deal. All of this happening against a backdrop of NATO intent on pushing eastwards and trying to bring Georgia and then potentially Ukraine into the fold. So these discussions about how Russia re responds to that will continue. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.